What's up guys, I'm here and I'm going to talk about the famous mysterious case about the Idaho murders. I've been seeing this on the news for about a month now and recently um, it broke that they think the most possible person that did it was the ex-boyfriend of one of the girls that died that night, Jack Dokover. I personally think it might be him just because they had been dating for five years and they had recently broken up three three weeks before and like people take breakups really hard like <clears throat> five years is a long time and if this guy thought he was gonna marry her and then recent they just got separated then that would be a big motive for him to go and kill her like guys are crazy like that like you just get mad and then you just get angry and then you just act and he probably possibly allegedly killed his girlfriend so um five years is a long time i personally think he might have done it allegedly because i mean three weeks before and then three weeks later and then he she pos she just comes up dead and his only alibi is that he was five hours away at his parents cabin and sleeping which I mean yeah he could have been sleeping at 3 in the morning whenever the murders took place but nobody saw him then his house was full of roommates of friends they were all playing games and he was just the only one sleeping that's kind of suspicious because I mean on a Saturday night and if you don't if you have your friends over at your parents house why would you be asleep while everybody else is up in your house and you're the only one sleeping that's kind of suspicious too also since they were boyfriend and girlfriend for five years none of the girls none of the three girls were sexually assaulted so i mean if it was a guy that was over here like the stalker or the anybody else right the stalker or the food truck guy he would have probably sexually assaulted them if, i mean if you're a stalker that's all you want to go do right you're in love with them, you're infatuated with them, and so you would kill them and then sexually assault them, possibly. And if it was anybody else, you know, you would want to, if it was a guy killing them, you, there would most, most likely, I think 90% of the time, the killers sexually assault the people. This was just random, so that's why, I, that's another good reason that I think Jack would have done it, because, I mean... He went and sexually assault them because he was mad that he broke up with her and he already had her for five years. They already knew and they probably already had lots of done lots of things. So he was not curious or interested in sexually assaulting her. He just wanted to murder her out of anger, allegedly. And also, I read some places that they called him or they were calling him multiple times around the times that the murders happened so maybe he was in the house or in the area or somebody saw him around town and but like that's really mysterious that there was calls for him or from him i feel like if he killed her first and like they were roommates and they were sleeping in the same bed so he had to kill the other one his her best friend of six years or since sixth grade so he had to kill her right because obviously she had to hear or see something the knife and so probably he killed the other two because they were in the same like maybe one of them heard and they came to help and then he had to kill them too but like since obviously they were dating for a long time he knew the house he knew the layout of the house he knew how to get in maybe he was waiting for them in the room he was probably waiting in the room when they got home they went to sleep and then he attacked he stabbed his ex-girlfriend out of anger that maybe she moved on. Maybe he was really upset that he left her. Cause she, I mean, she's a beautiful girl and he's not that great looking. Kind of looks odd. So he was probably really upset that he left her, that she left him. And then he started to attack her, then killed her. Then obviously the roommate that was sleeping next to her heard or s tried to help stop him from attacking her and then... So he obviously had to kill her and then like down the hall they heard and then they try to help too. Like he's like maybe they heard or they heard something and so he had to go kill them. And then he just left because he knew they laid out the house. And then the last piece of clue that I think is so crazy, the dog. My dog hears a stranger or anything. She goes crazy and um, this dog didn't do anything so the dog knew him. And so obviously he was, the dog was not going to attack him or bark or alert the whole house. I mean, granted, the house is a party house. 
but the dog will still do something. So for the for all of those reasons, I feel like it was Jack that killed his ex-girlfriend out of sadness and out of spite.